You want space? Here is a science mancy on space, the shaping of terrestrial planets by late accretions, which actually is quite fascinating. It turns out the last 1% of everything joining together to become a planet is probably the most important part. So I didn't know a lot of this. It turns out the actual planet mostly forming doesn't take that long. Uh, in our solar system, about 4.5 billion years ago, first there was the protoplanetary disk of all the, the gas and dust just in there. And then soon after, there was planetismal growth, and that is the grains and pebbles starting to collide. And finally, embryo formation that eventually grew into protoplanets. And you're starting to get close to the planet thing. And that only took 10 million years, which, you know, in geologic times is not that long. Then the late accretion is the next 1.5 billion years of getting hammered by all kinds of asteroids and collisions and things like that. And so it's very intense phase of the planet. And a lot of that evidence has been erased, which is why papers like this are so fascinating. This is a general review of all the evidence that kind of constrain the dates and what happened. And it's hard because a lot of the those impacts and craters are gone now. You know, that's been erased from all of these inner planets that they're, they're looking at. And so what happens with all of these accretions of these comets and meteorites and whatever hitting the planet is delivery of key elements, for one. Things like water and carbon get delivered then. Um, it also starts to alter the, the nascent atmosphere. And then on the Earth, that's what helps to start the plate tectonics that keep everything moving and kind of the engine of what we have. Um, perhaps it also caused the violent volcanoes of Venus that were so important for that planet being land blasted. Um, and then finally, at the very end especially, the elements needed for life. All of these rare uh, elements that were birthed in, in other stars from the beginning of the planet. You know, the, all of these great heavier elements that we have, they're from the beginnings of the solar system and the first generation of stars that made things hot enough to create things like gold and, and heavier things. Um, and so that's where you got those elements necessary for life. And finally, there was one last gigantic impact. And what did that make? That's right, the moon. The moon came from the one, the one last lamb blasting thing, uh, spun the moon off, and then life really started, and the planet really started to, to form after that. So it's, but it's that last 1% that matters. There's probably a spiritual metaphor in there somewhere.